When flying RC, we all know that practicing safety in the air is paramount. However, practicing safety on the ground is just as important in minimizing any accidents to your fellow pilots and to yourself. And when you are dealing with glow-powered aircraft, practicing safety protocol is especially important. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the gear that I use, the safe engine start, and run-up procedures for a Piper J3 Cub, which happens to be powered by a Saito 62 four-stroke engine. We'll need an electric starter, a strong bungee cord with hooks on each end, a long neck screwdriver, or in my case, an old sink faucet shaft, a glow plug driver, a wrench, and a small towel. Set your stake behind the rudder and elevator, making sure to angle it away from the plane. Loop the cord over the tail, under the elevator, and hook it to the stake. I set the bungee hooks in opposite directions for added security. Make sure to get rid of any slack in the tie-down. I place a towel underneath all my starting gear to keep it clean and visible. Plus, if you need to shift things around, this does make it easy to move everything at once. Before every start, I perform a thorough inspection. I tighten the spinner nut, inspect my propeller for any nicks or dings, and look over the engine to ensure all things are tightened and secure. Every so often, I'll inspect the glow plug to make sure that it's still glowing strong. And before every flight, I check to make sure my throttle linkages are working. I tossed my prop stick a long time ago and invested in an electric starter. The stick worked fine, but what the electric starter gave me in safety and sanity made the purchase worthwhile. I turned the engine over a few times to get fuel into the line and into the engine. Give your plane one last pull to remove any slack from the tie-down. Make sure no one is standing directly to the side of the propeller. Keep gear and people behind or forward of the propeller. This prevents injury if a propeller or spinner breaks loose during startup. If possible, always attach your glow plug from behind the engine or in a manner that keeps you clear of the propeller. Brace the fuselage of the plane and place the starter over the spinner. Stay clear of the propeller and do not spin up the starter before placing it against the engine. Walk around to the back of the airplane and remove the glow plug. Never remove a glow plug by reaching over a running engine. I like to perform my run-ups in one of two ways. I either stand with the tail between my feet, or I'll kneel to one side and hold the front of the plane in place while my radio sits on the ground. Never stand directly in front of a running engine, even if the airplane is tied down. Always stand to the left or right. When you're ready to taxi, slide any gear out of the way, remove your tie down, look both ways, and taxi to the flight line. Thanks for watching and I hope you found these safety tips helpful. Like if you liked, thumbs down if you didn't, drop your comments and questions below, and until next time, fly smart and fly safe. Well, that might be why it's not working out so well right now. Apparently my carburetor has decided to come loose. I was like, why is this not working? This is like my most dependable engine.